Grr. All right, <laughs> enough fun and games. My name is Rocket T05. I'm going to be conducting my first error review of the X Rocket Pro 2009 2.5, sorry, 2.1 wireless sound system. I'm going to be basing this on three different categories the aesthetics, the way it looks, um, comfort, whether it's comfortable, and finally, the sound system. This is not an instruction video, it's not a how to how to set up or blah blah blah, it's basically a review. That will just lead, on, lead us into our first section which is the aesthetics and I'm going to run through this quickly. It looks pretty damn nice. It reminds me of an executive's chair, you know, in a board of directors meeting. If this was a bit higher, this would probably be exactly that. It's really well crafted, I'm going to tell you. It's just magnificent. It's got this like nice stitching, so detailed stitching um, work. And it runs through the whole chair and it just makes it look amazing. The lever is pretty damn comfortable. I'll move on to that later, but it is pretty nice. It's got this extra pad in here and it's lined with this sort of grey leather detailed. Um, unlike the other reviews I've seen and the other rock, um, X Rockers I've seen, it hasn't actually got it hasn't actually got um, a logo on it. It hasn't it doesn't say X Rocker anywhere. I know it's the real thing because over here it says X Rocker. I hope you can see that. Be annoyed if you can't because I spent so long with the lighting. There it is, X Rocker. So it's not fake. Um, it's the pedestal, so it comes off the ground a bit. About uh, about 15 centimeters. I'm not going to try and convert that into inches at the moment. So go on the conversion side. I don't know. Speakers. One speaker here, the other one on the other side. And funny enough, you've got two speakers at the bottom. You can see that. Two speakers at the bottom. And this speaker doesn't do anything along with this speaker. I think it's just there for sure. Well, it, it really complements it. It looks nice, but you wouldn't expect any sound to come out of that. At the back, we've got a powerful beast of a subwoofer. I hope you can see that. It's wicked. The base on this thing is... Alright, let me not move on too much. I'll plug this back in and show you the control panel. This is the control panel. There's three sections of this. First section is the on-off switch. Cool. And the base... No, sorry. The rumble feature, which I'll move on to next. That complements the sound that comes out. And the base that deals with the subwoofer. We've got this kind of really nifty looking neon LED, blue LED sort of uh, <laughs> volume dial here. And it's pretty, it's pretty nice when you're playing at night. You can see what you're doing and it just looks cool. Um, next we've got the inputs, outputs, very standard stuff. We've got the 3.5 um, audio jack and here it's in black camouflage, so you won't be able to see it. We've got the um, the headphone jack, so if you want to play in, play, in, play in silence, which is beyond me. Well, not in silence, but the chair to be silent while you listen. You know what I mean? Um, also here, you will not be able to see this, but my finger's on it. It's This is the bass channels. Um, I'll move on to that when I'm talking about the wireless. So I'm beeping outside. Let's move on. I'm going to score this now out of 10. I'm going to score it. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10 for the aesthetics. I'll give it a 9 out of 10 because it's pretty damn good. It looks really nice. I'm sure you guys agree with it. But it looks a bit plain. I don't know if it's me, but there's just nothing on it. If there was like a, a bit of grey, a bit of blue, I don't know, a bit of white maybe, I don't know, it would look much better. And that's for the aesthetics, 9 out of 10. Okay, moving on very quickly. Um, I'm going to talk about now the comfortability. Um, this padding here, this padding is amazing. It really, it really um, sort of, wouldn't like to use the word caress, but it does sort of caress your thighs when you're sitting in it. It's really, it's, it feels really nice. I'm going to actually sit in the chair, which is weird because you won't be able to see it. But I sat in there and it was really comfortable. Very comfortable. It says it recommends that you don't get out of the chair using the, the armrests. 
I don't. Um, but it's pretty solid. Anyway, um, there is the rock. It does rock back, even though it is on the pedestal. The pedestal is, weighs quite quite a bit. That's from experience carrying it up the stairs. It does weigh quite a bit. So it stays flat while you rock on it. So you don't have to worry about that. Um, the thing I have to talk about is the rumble feature. It's like, it's sort of like um, the, vib the vibration on the the DualShock, DualShock controller on the PlayStation. It sort of mimics that sort of thing. Although it does it with sound. So if, if there's a large sound, it rumbles. And it's and it's there's a motor in it, it actually does rumble. It's not just a subwoofer. It really does, really does shake shake the chair for you. You can control it using the dial I showed you, but it can get a bit too much sometimes. Um, I'm probably gonna play a song quickly, and I'm gonna get some coins. I'm gonna get some coins out of my jar and put them on it like that, so you can see it. Very well. Let me put some more coins. You're probably wondering why I'm doing this, but it's just to demonstrate the power of it. Now, my wireless mouse. I'm gonna go to the song that. Uh, let's go on to my music. And what should we play? Let's play some Tiny Temper. Pass on. So as you can see, we have the shot over this, but the vibration is quite, you know, it's quite. Yeah. Let me put a star. Okay. Silence. The vibration is quite high, and why I'm why I'm talking about it is that it's actually centralized and it's not evenly distributed within the chair. It actually comes from this sort of section, mm. so it can start hurting your lower back. So what I do. Without the money, I just chuck that on it. And it's not because it's not comfortable, it's just because when you're playing something like Killzone or something like Dead Space, it can, when the loud sounds come out, it really does do your back in and you can't really concentrate. I suppose you could turn down the, the dial, but you still want that sort of rumble feature right there. And yeah, it's pretty good. I think, I think the rumble feature helps because it really immerses you. Like, using Dead Space as an example. If you're playing Dead Space and the thing about Dead Space is that you be you could be walking in the dark and something just jumps out at you. And not only does it frighten you because of the sound, the chair reacts to it also. It really shocks you. So not only are you getting the the eye sensation, the the sound sensation, you're also getting the feel of it. You're immersed. And that's what this is all about. This is what the X-Rocker is about. And it really does it justice. So I'm going to be probably playing some Dead Space 2 tonight because I haven't played it in a while. So that's the comfortability of it. I'm going to rate it now. Out of 10, I'm going to give an 8. And you lot might be upset with that. I think 8 is a perfect score for it because... The rumble feature, if it was the reason why I give an eight is because if the rumble feature was evenly distributed around the chair as opposed to it being centralized, hurting your back, it didn't doesn't quite hurt your back, but you can feel it more in your back, your lower back than anywhere else. If if it was in your you know the upper part, you know where your knees are as well, it would be perfect. It would be as if you're on a plane of turbulence. It affects your whole body. This this the rumble feature sort of affects your back but you know once you chuck this on it it sort of just helps distribute it evenly but um it is comfortable i think it is very comfortable it's just that the rumble feature is such a big part of this chair i think it's i think it didn't do it justice as much justice as i'd hoped for but um it really is a nifty a nifty feature and i would still recommend it so that's a comfortability eight out of, eight out of ten that's what i'd give it Finally, finally, God, throat's dry. Finally, we're gonna move on to the sound. You had the sneak peek at the, the power, the power of the sound. And 
a gamer gamer chair let's find out what it's like with with games come on this is what we're gonna do i'm gonna pause the tape and i'm going to go and put on the game and we're gonna see what it sounds like playing kills in for example all right i'm gonna increase the volume a bit doors closed doors closed yeah <laughs> doors closed You can actually hear it shaking on the ground. I'm on the highest floor and I can... The ground is completely shaking. I'm going to put the, the rumble feature down because I'm not actually in the chair and it's shaking the ground. And my brothers will be pissed downstairs. And skip past this. Okay, sorry about that. I'm going to do a regular bot zone. And remember, we are doing a review on this. <laughs> so I don't know why I'm staring at the screen. Rumble up. Oh god, this is powerful. Right. So it's really, really loud. And um search and destroy. Defend the target. Sounds all coming from the back. It actually feels like it's caressing my sort of my back and my legs and everything. It's really you kind of really talk over talk over this and it's like it's just so loud. I could play this all day, but I know it's not going to be good for you. That is the power of the X Rocker. It's a very powerful device. I'm going to give this, in terms of sound, I'm just going to give it a 10 out of 10. I love the sound quality, it is immense, it is huge, it's just absolutely beautiful. I would recommend it to anyone, it's a work of art. The X Rocker. As you can see, it's completely wireless. Only the is not completely wireless because it still needs um, a power cord. But um, over here, below the TV, we've got the um, the transmitter, and this drains battery like crazy. So I'd probably recommend getting like an electric charger or some battery charger. We rechargeable batteries god and you know to power to so that you can re reuse your batteries <sighs> you're probably bored of me now i am rocker t05 and this was my review of the x rocker it got okay what did i give it first i gave it a nine and then i gave it an eight and then i gave it a ten so it got 27 Am I right? Yeah, you got 27 out of 30. That's a, that's a good score. 27. And I think it deserves that. And that's just me being harsh. I hope you enjoyed my review. This is the first review I've ever done. I take um, constructive criticism very well. So please, commentary box down below, please tell me how I did. And um, I hope to see you guys soon. Hope to do another review of something else. So see you guys later. Bye.